Yes. You're my little secret. And that's how we should keep it. Oh, look at the baby swimming. Did you think so? Oh, my God, who was that? Yeah, bitch, you gotta get staples. What the fuck? Hi. Your day is now complete. Oh, thank you, Jude. Thumbs up, hey, baby. Oh, my bad, Michael Jackson. Somebody set this shit on fire, bitch. I cannot sleep alone at night. You snatch your own weave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <clears throat> None of them. Because they, they uh, run out my battery. Dirty Diana, oh, Dirty Diana, oh, Dirty Diana, that I like that song, I like the music, the guitar and all that, Michael Jackson didn't play with these motherfucking kids, do you hear me, and I'm telling y'all the truth, I'm confused. What you confused about? You're a man. Girl, you am a man. Don't be confused, baby. I sure am. I'm 41 years old, too, Jeff. Yep, I'm a motherfucking grown-ass nigga. No shade, just truth. Tell you a little something else, too. I was in the movie First Sunday with Ice Cube. I was Mordecai. And I was rubbing on Tracy Morgan. I chased their ass up out that damn masseuse parlor. Don't you bring your ass back around here trying to borrow some money with me. Playing for my emotions. That was me, Jeff. All the memes, that's me, Jeff. <clears throat> So, hi, Jeff. <laughs> no, you're not being mean. She just didn't know what I was. I get that all the time. People are like, oh, my God, you, yeah, baby, I'm a dude. A grown-ass man. Been doing drag for about 22, 23 years. Never thought I was going to be a drag queen, but I'm a drag queen. I have a wonderful life. I don't complain. I live it to the happiest and the fullest as I can. I don't ask people for shit. I don't borrow shit. I take care of my household. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Do you know? So, yeah, that's what I do. You know, I have a very blessed life. Oh, my God. I'm going to change it for nothing in the world. Mm -mm. I have been absolutely blessed.
with this life called drag until even my own mama had to tell me this was your calling. It's right what you wanted to do. You're entertaining. You're making good money. You're living life. You're happy. You're seeing the world for free. You're doing what you wanted to do, Jill. A wonderful life and job. Don't take it for granted. But I have a wonderful life and a wonderful job. Right now, girl, get this tea. I'm in Manchester, girl. And I'm here two days just laying up on my ass doing not a fucking enchilada for free. And I'm getting paid. Um, okay, dude, I come, I'm trying to come to D.C. I'm really trying to come to D.C. Birmingham. Honey. Um, how was my flight? Wonderful. I slept all the way through, Jeff. And then uh, the last six hours, I think it was, here, I watched two movies that was really good to me. And I killed us some time. Yeah. And I passed the fuck completely out. See, there I go, Jeff. That's my beautiful twin sister. I was so happy to get that wig off my head. Um, hey, from D.C. I'm trying to get to D.C., baby. I'm trying to get to the D in the fucking C. I really, truly am. When I say I am, I am. I am, I am, I am. Uh, I need some water. See, this is why I wish I had me a fucking... Now, if I say... I'm going to say a mate. Because y'all know I'm very open to dating male or female. But this is why I wish I had me a fucking mate. Because I'm sitting fucking here in fucking Manchester. And I could be here with my boo. We could be out walking the streets, freezing together, eating, drinking coffee. Because they got coffee on every shop. I mean, every damn corner and every other store is a coffee shop. And we could be over here for free. Just chilling. What y'all doing? Relaxing, making money? But y'all ain't doing nothing right. I got this. You work the computers. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> that nose is contour for the course, girl. I broke her down, didn't I? I could do makeup when I want to. Sometimes I just throw that shit on, child. It's sad to say, but I do. But <sighs> I guess I'm getting back to the old me. Well, not the old me. It's becoming a better new me. I'll say that. I'm falling back in love with Doing drag and not just making money going home. 
making it more of a job. I'm trying to have fun with it again. Other than when I'm out of town. Single as a motherfucker. Can't find nobody to trust. Can't find nobody who ain't on drugs. Can't find nobody who ain't no hoe. Can't find nobody who can't be fucking honest. Can't find nobody who's about making money. Can't find nobody who just want a motherfucker to be happy. Can't find nobody who's motherfucking faithful. It's like, fuck. Just can't find a good motherfucker for shit. Can't find a motherfucker to be up front and just say, okay, this is what somebody may say. All I ask is say, just tell me up front. Then if they say something, they can't tell me nothing. Don't nobody hear that shit. Well, I can't find him in L.A., baby. That's for damn sure. Because I'm telling you now, everybody I have found... <laughs> Uh, they just been hoes on drugs, lying, don't want to work. It's like, baby, who gonna support you? I'm not. I, no, no, ma'am. Yeah, motherfuckers. I'm like y'all crazy. Oh, yes, baby. A lot of them. They be in the club all the time. But one time I got stalked by one. One followed me home. One followed me home because I used to come to drag. I mean, to work in drag and leave home for drag. And just, you know, hang out with everybody, chill. And I'm still up in it. I'm cool with everybody. And, you know, probably a little flirtations when I'm in drag. You know, whatever. And when I tell you this man followed me home... Ever since then, after the show, I am out of drag. Because I'd rather have to scrap as a man than have to scrap of, in drag. That's a lot of shit I got on. And I want to make sure I need to be able to flip and do all that to kick that bitch on top of their head. But I still would do it in drag if I need to. That shit wouldn't even bother me. It'd just be like performing. But yeah. After that, I've been cool. Oh, you shouldn't do that no more, Jen. But it's hard to find somebody, especially in the L.A. area, because I know a lot of friends, and a lot of them been fucking everybody. So when I find out this fucked at least four of my friends or know them, I know they fuck, so I'll be cool. That's why I've always been open to having a mixed relationship. You know, uh, dating outside my race. But a nice little Latin poppy or mamacita. Who could really go in that kitchen and just wear them seasonings out like that? <laughs> Not just for the food, but I'm just saying. That'll help a lot. And I can't find nobody who can't cook. A lot of people do not know how to cook. I'm like, well, damn. Because I'm not trying to eat out every fucking night. I mean, I want to know... If you gone, I could whip up something. If I'm gone, you could whip up something. Not we got to go out to eat because you can't cook. Baby, you can't come to me if you can't cook. I don't know what to tell you. But your ass need to know how to cook. Because <laughs> I like to eat food and I be hungry. I just feel like <clears throat> I don't think I ever dated anybody who didn't know how to cook. All my boyfriends knew how to cook. So. You know what I mean? No, I don't, I'm not dating no fans because they, 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 they're not dating me. They're dating the life. And you can't be, this ain't it.
said, no, that ain't gonna work, Jim. Yes, baby, you can sure can cook. We can be the best of friends. Shit. As long as you go in that kitchen and whip it up and you clean. Oh, yes, man. I love that. I just know my nerves can't take it. My nerves ain't that good. Did y'all see this? Oh, my God. Watch this. <laughs> I don't know who posted that, but they did not have to post that little girl ponytail coming off. She's gonna be devastated when she get up. A like, man that can cook is a man that can I can book. Baby. A man that can do yeah, cooking is important. Cause I'm a fooder. I love food. And I need to know. That was a girl doing she came and did her little thing. But let me show you. No, it's a cheering squad. Oh, wait. Tips on how to uh, keep a man gas. I'm telling you, food is the way to a man's heart. Because men like to eat. Now, they on that salad. See, I can't date nobody who want to eat salads and all that shit. Baby, I ain't got time for that. Until the doctor say, bitch, you need to cut that out. Or I decide I want to, you know, do some changes. Then I handle that part. But... If you got a man and his ass is out there working, baby, you need to know how to saute something for him. Because just the fact knowing that you could take your ass home and you got a home cooked meal coming in there, baby, you are going to just have him stuck. Because your ass could go in there and cook. I'm telling you. Cause that, it, ain't, it ain't nothing like a home cooked meal. Because it wasn't pent on. And it wasn't pent on or, or tied on tight enough. Because so that she dropped down. That little bitch was rolling off. And everybody kiki. <laughs> well, you know what? The throw game could be cool, but you know what? Everybody's using throw. And and everybody being using throw. But it's a little bit more than just even me or people a lot of women can cook too. Don't no shade. But if you with your man, honey, and he at work. Have something done for that ass when he come in. Cause shit, after he eat, bitch, he ain't gonna wanna go nowhere because his ass is full. So you don't have to worry about the motherfucker cheating cause his ass is full. Once he eat, bitch, you gonna give him some pussy or suck his dick. He is cool. He ain't even going to his boy's house because you done made him weak.
Um, for real, you got to let, you got to do it. And hopefully he treats you the same way, you know, treat you with the love and respect, you know, make sure you cool and whatever, because you could be out there dipping and doing it too. Happy birthday, Jim. But I'm saying it. And I'm, my ex-boyfriend told me one day we had a conversation. This was like, we broke up at least seven, six years after we broke up. And he had did it a few little hood rats and no good thoughts. And he was like, you know what I can say about you? And that I got now. Because we were both young, but he got it now. Like, I got some things he was doing now that not even get there. He was like, you protecting me? He said, because you didn't let your friends get to me. Your friends didn't have the number to the house. They didn't have my numbers. He was like, you never let your friends spend the night, which I did not let one spend the night. And I found a letter that bitch tried to sleep with my man. And I said, when I see that hoe to this day, I'm going all up in that Adam's apple. That's a whole nother story. Um, but I'm still gonna whoop up in that ass. Um, you know, so, uh, he was like, I remember times when I would come home, you would have dinner done, or dinner would be just about getting done, the house is clean, sometimes you even put out my pajamas for me, you had everything set up for me, he was like, and that just meant so much to me, because it was something he didn't have to do when he got home for being so tired, when he had a hard day's work, he was like, these motherfuckers I'm meeting, <laughs> they don't know shit, they came and put his fucking dishes in the dishwasher. Quit fucking with them young motherfuckers. I was young, but I was mature for my shit. I was grown. My mama was whooping my ass. Until I was about a good 11, 12. So I know what I, you know, you just, he was like, the shit you was doing, the shit, how you protected me and told me about this and going off about this person, that person. He was like, I tell you everything you told me. He said, oh, that shit worked out. Being played out a sooner or later. Like, of course. I know faggots. Shit. <laughs> and I ain't talking about gays. I'm talking about faggots. Them are different. Faggots are the messy ones. Them are faggots. But yeah. And little things like that. Just do your part. But know how to cook. Damn, it's not hard to boil some damn potatoes. And some stream beans and throw a little onion and bell pepper and some little seasoning up in there. Bell pepper ain't doing nothing but just making them think he's eating something different. Well, he be eating that with him that little flavor. And that's it. It's really easy. You could put some goddamn Italian dressing on some damn chicken, a roast beef, any type of meat. Put that in the oven and just cook it. They ain't gonna know, honey. Pop, 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 all up in there. That mouth is wonderful. You done did your job. He happy. He at home. <clears throat> you happy. You ain't fine. <clears throat> you see her and tapped her, tapped them on their shoulder. Oh, I haven't seen them yet. I haven't seen them yet. But when I do see them, it is going to be a tap, but it's not going to be tapping on our shoulders. I'm not doing tapping on shoulders with this situation because this goes a little too deep. And to find out this information only means that I need to... Tap on that ass and ask questions later. <clears throat> Most times, I try to, if I have to go that route, I try to ask questions to make sure. But on this situation with this person, I have to tap that ass first and then ask questions later. And then, I'm going to tap it again. Well, I don't know what's going on. I'll try now. Uh, let me see how high are you, Queen. I'm not high at all, fuckface. I'm not even smoking weed. Thank you, baby.
Oh, hey, from Brazil. Yeah, Alfredo and Bacon, get your gist. Throw a little chicken up in there, a little, you know, a little shrimp. I don't do shrimp, you know, grilled and, and all that. I like it um, very much. Um, very much uh, fried shrimp. I don't do, like, the grilled and all that stuff. Smoke one for me, Jill, because when I get back, I'm going to light, well, when I get out of here, I'm going to light up. Once I get to, like, I go to Atlanta from here. And I'm going to fuck it up. <clears throat> Once I get to Atlanta, make sure I smoke a good good. You want a dish hat. I believe those are in stock or able to get done. The shirts is where the problem is at. The hat could get done. The shirts, I don't know. My sister Chevelle does the shirts on her end. And she had the guy on her side of the world that does the hats. So the hats are not on my end. They are on her end. But she was going to go pick up some for someone else because two other people order hats with Jish. So you could go to Jish. We have Jish right here on Face, on Instagram, where the merchandise and the hats are at, where you sing, and click on there and get that Jish, and let her know what kind of Jish you want. Hey, Jish, have you seen Stacey Lane? Yeah, <clears throat> we was together earlier. She downstairs in her room, eating some chicken wings. I told that bitch. To let me know. What's somebody say stupid? What did I miss? Oh, I don't know. Y'all already done. Y'all done lock that up real quick. <clears throat> so, <laughs> whatever the situation was, y'all took care of that. So I don't even need, I don't need I don't even need to see it. Thank y'all. Love y'all. But y'all know how people like to waste their life on me. And you know I do not mind. Hey, baby, the haters are the dumb ones. Yeah, we do have just chats, Claudette. The haters are the dumb ones. But you can't say you hate somebody, but you fucking with them. You don't fuck with haters. If you don't, if you don't fuck with me, why are you on my shit? You wasting your time on somebody you don't fuck with. That's the dumbest shit ever. That's the dumbest shit ever. I'm your, you my enemy, bitch, because I'm not your enemy, because I don't know you, but you, you're my enemy. I'm your enemy, however you want to call it. Why are you bothering with me? You shouldn't even be fucking with me, but you want to just know what I'm doing. You're not a hater, baby. You are a deep lover. Just can't, you just can't acknowledge it. It's okay. Because I'm going to always kill you with kindness, love. I still pray for you, wish the best for you, all that. You know how many letters I get a day from people talking about, oh my God, I really didn't like you at first, but now I'm so in love with you, baby. It's okay. I understand. I accept you for who you are. You, We cool. No no love loss. You know, life is too short. It's like, what are you doing? The next time your ass is sick with a cold, or you have a toothache, or you have problems or something, 
At that very moment, I want you to think of me. And then think about how much time you wasted on me. We just sick all that. Just let me come across your mind real quick. You should have been spending all your good time doing something good while you was feeling good instead of you over here fucking with Jish. Why are you feeling good, you dumb ass shit? What the fuck? But it's okay, G, you know I'm I am. Because we see what happens. They make memes of me. They go viral. They help me go viral. All that. Man gets girlfriend high. And then, because he suspects she's cheating, he cuts her hair off while she sleep. <gasps> He is cutting this bitch hair while she sleep in the car. Because he thinks she's cheating on him. That had to be fake. Because she woke up at the very minute. Baby, I would have sliced and diced that ass. Cutting off my motherfucking hair. And I'm not cheating even if I was cheating, bitch. You don't cut my motherfucking hair. Cut off them balls. Because <clears throat> she must have been high off some damn pill. He drugged her up to put her to sleep. Which I really don't think that's true, Jill, but who knows? That's, baby, you cut, but... Some people do some dumb shit. Two people. But I'm like, you never know that person's outcome. What if that person just go 5150 on your ass and just blow some shit up? Because you, cause you don't know what's... I'm, you don't know what would make a person snap. <clears throat> and some people do some dumb shit. And that right there would have had me snapping. Because I would have went to his mama house. And I would have woke her ass completely out. Just so he could know that I was coming from him. I just whooped your mama ass. Why did I whoop her ass? Because she had you and she should have taught you better. So you better get prepared. Because that's fucked up. All right, baby, take care. Thanks for being on. Well, what's going on? I was thinking like maybe she had to cut her hair. Uh, I wanted to, I wonder if she was cutting her hair off anyway. It don't look like she wanted to cut her hair. Cause that was real hair that they cut. We definitely can't fake the phone. That was real hair. That was from her scalp. Oh, you know he would. Oh, that's fake news. He loves saying something fake news.
It ain't fake, bitch. Damn. Baby, everybody looked at him. Uh, let me see. What's the website? The merchandise. <clears throat> it's um it's on that video, Claudette. Did I miss Love and Hip Hop? That came on Monday. That was boring. Hold on, let me show you. But girl, you know I know what I'm doing. It's the most wonderful time of the year. See, Claudette, right there where it says, Jeff, when you click that video, the link is on there. The PayPal is on there. <clears throat> My friend will help me get this in order, though. Cause he like, bitch, you has got to get it in order. <laughs> Shit. So yeah. Okay. Let me see. It's time to get my jizz. Get your jizz, jizz. Because, damn, it's one o'clock here. And when I tell you, I'm just up. I did, but did you see when Nene told Cynthia, calm your wig and yourself down. <laughs> she told her to calm her wig down. I said, damn, <laughs> Nene. Nene, don't give up. Fuck, did you hear me? She said, girl, calm yourself in your wig down. <laughs> I said, no, she did not. And Cynthia was just sitting there looking crazy. I'm like, Cynthia, girl, you just don't know what you too old. You at your dark age. I said, Nene is a hoop nanny. <laughs> Cynthia let her fly over her head, over her wig. Because she don't want, uh, she don't want Nene to get off her ass. But Nene just says the truth. But even though she was wrong about the whole Kenya thing, because Kenya was kind of cool. She didn't know that, you know, Kenya was being really quiet and no. Wiggy over there was talking shit. I'm like, Kim, sit your ass down because all she would have did was pull your wig right off and we would have got your teeth. Kim would have pulled her wig off. <laughs> she said, let me out of bitch. Let me out of bitch. You done talking about my kid's bitch. She was evil. All right, Kim. Kim tried it. She better leave King alone. <laughs> Kenya got her ass whooped too many times. She ain't gonna take no more ass whoopers. And she ain't gonna take no ass whooping about no damn kill. Let me reroute you.
It ain't time to check in, girl. We don't leave until Friday. The fuck? I do watch Empire and low-key. Low I'm really trying to stay up so I can't watch Empire because it's, it's a whole nother day now here. It's Thursday at 1 o'clock in the morning. And Empire come well, Empire not coming on to what, 9? Or is it coming on at 8? It star coming on at 9. But I want the little live thing to go live on here and get my jizz. No, I never dressed up as Nene in drag. I don't dress up as anyone in drag. I dressed up as myself. I know. Well, after Portia sat there and said all that shit about... Um, Candy, I wouldn't fuck with Portia either. No, King, you're not taking no ass with for Kim G. You got that right. <clears throat> or oh, eight G. See, I don't know why this TV is not even showing a picture. This is what I don't have time for, and I left my fire stick. But I got my computer and my laptop. I got my tablet, my phone, and my uh, laptop. So I have enough things to watch. Portia is shady as fuck for that. Oh, this one, yeah, I can't. I want to fuck with her either. And I like Portia, but you, you can't lie on me. Don't lie on me at all. But stuff like that, you can't, you can't do that. I can't, I can't, I can't forgive you for that. I'm just, I, I, I don't need to forgive you to get over it. I don't need to do none of that. I just need you to stop fucking with me because, because I have 1,000% quit fucking with you. You don't need to speak to me. You don't need to say shit to me, and I won't say shit to you. I won't even give you a side eye, bitch. We just can't fuck around no more. That's way below the belt. And I believe the only reason why Kenny didn't whoop off in the ass was because Kenny had way more money in them and they definitely would have sued him. But that's why you always got cousins and sisters, you. Whoop her ass. And if I whoop it, she gonna sue the fuck out of me. But if y'all whoop it, baby, y'all just whoop their ass. So that's why Candy didn't whoop on him. But I do miss Phaedra because Faye Faye was my girl from day one. <clears throat> but I'm sorry that she was going through all that, that she had to do that to feel like she was getting back at Candy some type of way. But you know what I mean? And I like Phaedra too. I really do and I really did. But I couldn't fuck with her neither. That bitch get mad at me. She come lying on some shit like that. Nah, girl, you can't do that. The post, she said one of them men had like touched her little son or something and had him lying. That's like, see, that's why you can't be bothered. I can't be bothered with people like that. If you got to go to the extreme to hurt somebody over some bullshit because of whatever the case may be like that, on that type of level, and you got to lie about it, oh, bitch, I can't fuck with you ever. Because that's some deep shit. Yeah, and you know, for real, like Candy said, that's that's something that is in her. That is something that is never going to die with her. They're going to put that, that's going to be part of her legacy, all of that. And her son is going to see that when he get older. It's just fucked up. The world is really fucked up, y'all. We have no protection for nothing and no one. Anything that hits the airway, <clears throat> somebody's going to know about it. No, it's not good to play dirty like that. 
But see, let me tell you something about people who lie. When you lie about shit like that and you're just always lying, when something really happened to you, no one is going to believe you because, bitch, you lie so motherfucking much. Stop fucking lying. Just stop fucking lying. You know what I mean? If you're always lying and if something really happened to you and you're trying to tell the truth and people know you always lying, bitch, they're not going to believe you if you they know you always fucking lying. And that's what's going to happen when the truth get revealed. You're talking about, see, see, well, bitch, you always lying. How the fuck are we going to believe you? Because you lie too goddamn much. Stop your goddamn lying. Like Tammy told that girl on <laughs> Basketball Wives, stop your lying, stop your lying. <clears throat> and she beat her ass. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm just saying. Well, hell, a lie is a lie. But just stop lying, honey. Because our baby, uh-uh. I'm sorry. You, sh- you just got to stop goddamn lying, honey. There's no need. And when everybody know you lying, honey, if Empire's on, okay, well, y'all get your dish. If For those of you who can't watch Empire, watch Empire. And I am going to get my dish. So y'all have a good one. And um, I will see y'all in some hours, I guess. No, I never thought about being a life coach. I need a coach of my own life. Shit. I just speak the truth and try to live to the, my fullest ability and do what I tell other people they should do with their lives or not what they should do or give them, you know, whatever. But I'm really good for telling people how to say fuck it. You know, Jill. I'm really good for telling people how to say fuck it and keep on going. Because tomorrow, I promise. And we don't have time to be wasted on what bullshit. So with that being said, y'all have a good one. Enjoy your life because you only got one. And we never know when it's going to end. So love yourself and fuck all the haters. Talk to y'all soon. I'm about to go eat. This bitch never want to.